I was concerned over people viewing me differently, treating me differently. I had a, a high level of anxiety with respect to keeping that part of myself in the background. You wonder what people are gonna say and why are they gonna say it and are they gonna think of you differently and you just want your, your partners and your employees to respect you for who you are and what you can do for the firm and not to let other factors influence that. My name is Matt Milligan and I'm the diversity manager for the San Jose office of PricewaterhouseCoopers. We're in Chicago for the for the fourth meeting of the PwC GLBT Partners Advisory Board. I would say in terms of the ideal at the firm, I would like to see a PricewaterhouseCoopers where uh, no one comes to work and has to be um, untruthful about who they are, about what, what's happening in their personal lives, about what they're doing with, um, with their significant others, about um, what they do on their weekends, about who they are, their political beliefs. I hope that you can, I really hope that people can bring their whole selves to work. Most um, heterosexuals don't understand that um, they do bring their personal life to work and people who are not out uh, do not. It requires energy to hide who you are and um, that's energy that could be spent, um, you know, focusing on your job. Uh, the firm is trying to be an inclusive place and trying to do things that help all the people that work here. I hope that people uh, that start with the firm now don't have the same level of anxiety I had that 20 or 15 years ago. I would encourage everyone to come out at work. Again, I think it's uh, to bring your you know, personal and professional life together and be a single person at work makes you uh, much happier. When you can t take away the fear and not be afraid to be who you are and to talk about what you did, it makes life a lot easier. It's incredibly empowering. Um, it really makes you feel good about yourself. My personal coming out story is a little different from most people's. I, uh, I think most people, especially when you're younger, you come out to your best friend first or to a parent first. And for me, that wasn't true. I, I came out to my grandfather first because I had a good relationship with him. He made me immediately comfortable by um, acting as though he was not surprised at all, that he was expecting the conversation, and that there was not any big deal. You know, it was just not, not, a, not a big deal to him. It, People are much more accepting, in my experience, than you give them credit for. And there was no negative aspect to that experience at all, other than my own personal fear about it. Nobody blinks when I say, you know, that um, I, you know, my same-sex domestic partner is moving with me to Portland. When you're a leader in the firm, whether you like it or not, you're a role model. People are looking to you for for behavioral indicators of how they should behave when they become leaders. And I really hope that our senior people in the firm are willing to engage the people who talk to them, their younger people, the way that my granddad was, was able to engage me. We've got to make people in the firm know that it's okay to be yourself. There are people who understand you know, what issues you're going through. Um, there are people there that can help support you if you have a problem and there are people who are trying to make sure it isn't an issue. It's okay to come out. It's, I wanna make sure that we have a, clearly communicate that it's, it's safe, it's supported, and don't hide.